surprised they haven't put stickers on the outside of them like they have on the diesels. in Coast to Coast, the nuclear leak they kept a secret. An MP asked the Minister for the facts and an assurance. The CEGB explained why they didn't tell the public. Also tonight, the Old Bailey trial of Kenneth Noy, charged with conspiracy to handle stolen gold worth £26 million. And we go with the Queen Mother on the new Hastings to Tunbridge Wells line. Tunbridge and Hastings. The £20 million project will mean quicker and quieter journeys, as Cathy Alexander now explains. First stop was Tunbridge Wells, where the Queen Mother unveiled a plug commemorating the station's restoration. From there, on to Hastings, and even British Rail's most up-to-date electric line didn't prevent the Royal Train rolling in ten minutes late. But nobody, least of all the Queen Mother, seemed to mind. Her visit marked the end of two and a half years' work modernising the 31 miles of track. To accommodate the new electric trains, the old 19th century tunnels have been widened, and because of a cost-cutting exercise by the Victorians, who didn't use enough bricks, they've also been strengthened. But do the benefits outweigh the £20 million cost? Well, basically, they're going to um, have a quicker journey between Hastings and London and the intermediate stations like Tunbridge Wells by up to um, 15 to 20 minutes. They're going to have their new um, electric um, trains, which are brighter, more airy, with public address and all modern features. Are they quieter? Oh, yes, because we don't have the uh, diesel generator um, humming away all the time. The Queen Mother walked through the refurbished Hastings station be greeted outside by several hundred school children who'd had the morning off to see her. Accompanied by the British Rail Chairman, Sir Robert Reid, she officially opened the new line. As Lord Warden of the Sink Boards, I am delighted to be once again in Hastings, and I brought my winkle with me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also has given me great pleasure to be able to arrive by train. At 86, the country's favourite great-grandmother still enjoys meeting the people. And official ceremonies over, the Queen Mother went off on the now traditional royal walkabout to the delight of the 